I'm alive inside of a pizza. How did you get alive inside of a pizza, I'd like to ask you. He cracked the neck. He cracked the other neck. I didn't know you had two necks. Nobody's talking to you, you weirdo. Okay. All you gotta do is become a better space pirate. Step one. Get you a spaceship. Step two. Get you a pirate hat. Step three. Pirate in space. Now you've become a space pirate. What? <laughs> it could be a, a movie. I bet you. Why, why not? Jack Sparrow in space, though? Oh, wait. It's already the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's a good point. I mean, essentially, basically. Do you suppose if somewhere out there there's a guy whose name is Bay Sickly? First name Bay. Last name Sickly. I've had enough of leaf blowers. Give it a rest. How many leaves could there be? Well, I will answer that question. A ton. And are you going to get them all? Are you going to just wah, wah, with your leaf blower? Wah, come on. I'm sorry. That triggers me. <laughs> Anyways. I hope my uh, co-host will be here soon. Invite. I thought. I thought. You found. Uh, going. Do you remember that time you couldn't hear me because your phone was turned all the way down? Because <laughs> uh, when you put it in the contraption, it. Yeah, I've called the police by mistake doing that once. Because it will hold it down for so long, it calls the police. That happened to me once. I'm like, oh, and I'm, they're like, did you, is this called from an iPhone? And I'm like, it is. It called by mistake when I put it in the holder. Like, how embarrassing is that? Don't do it, guys. It's embarrassing. Good God. Okay. What a lot of noise you make. I'm making noise. Sorry about that. With the touching of the thing, it just. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to talk about this movie I watched last night in the theaters. It's called... <gasps> I'm jealous. Oh, I'm so jealous that you saw it. I yes, talk about it. hyped to see it because, you know what, you give the description of what you know about it. I know nothing. I don't know nothing. I just know I want to see it. I know about? nothing. Nothing. You talk about it. Well, why do you want to see it? Because I like that actor, and the cover looks great, and it's it just oh. came out. What else has he been in? You tell me about it, because I honestly don't know much about it. I just know I okay. wanted to check it out. Um, so it, the concept is, it's a John Woo movie. I'm oh, sorry, I'm making noise. <laughs> sorry, I'm having issues with this. Just keep doing your thing. We, we can wait. <laughs> <laughs> all right, wait for me to stop making all the noise. Hang on. We've got all the Just, time. Yeah, everyone can join, hopefully. Good God, what is going on with this thing? I apologize for the sound if it makes a bunch of noise. I know it does, so. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go. I'm done. I'm all done. I didn't do the, the theme song, too. Okay. Happiness is in your butt. You gotta throw down the butt. You don't know what you're doing with your life. You just gotta watch the donkey burrito show. The donkey burrito show. Okay. Anyway. You got it covered. <laughs> um, what do you know this guy from? George he was on a show, a TV show, right? That I kind of liked. He was a cop and he was kind of like hooked on some stuff. There was some addiction issues. He was a, it, it, I liked him. I liked his kind of raw, gritty way and I liked him. I don't remember what the show was called, but it was a cop situation. Okay. Tell me, do you did you remember it or see him in it or? Sorry. Typecast. Um, he was also RoboCop in the reboot 2014 movie. I'm not sure if I saw that. I don't remember I mean, if I saw that. Uh, so this is my first. Oh no, he was in Suicide Squad. He was oh. Rick, Rick Flag. What else was he? Um, kind of. That's kind of it. He's still trying to make a name for himself. I don't blame him. Right. He's still. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, 
So the concept of this is a, a low dialogue movie, and it lived up to that. There's maybe four words in the entire movie. Stop it right now. Seriously. Yeah, and then he doesn't speak one word, his character. He, he has a voice box injury, and he's just going around bang, bang, killing. Um, yeah, you gotta be careful with Sam TikTok. I know, I know. Boom, boom, bang. <laughs> um, now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Good. We're, even. We're, even. We're um, even. So he lost his kid to a drive-by shooting of gangsters. Hmm. Very sad. Uh, unfortunately, the movie spends kind of an hour of him working through that. Training hmm. montages, grieving, being in the hospital, emotionally dealing with what happened to his son. So his acting, without words, is what? What do you say? Let's hear it. It's good. It's good. Yeah? He's got all the range. He's he's doing everything correct. I, the problem is it's, it's an action movie. That's what I went to go see. So it's, oh, an hour, oh. it's an hour and 45 minutes. And an hour of that is too slow. There's oh. not enough things happening they even do a flashback so that you can see when the actual tragedy happened to the kid when you already got that concept it's okay we already know the kid is no more and there's mm. and he's clearly been grieving over it there mm. wasn't a need to show that again you know how batman movies yeah yeah come along and they got to show how batman's parents got killed again, yeah, again, and, again yeah. and again in this movie, in this movie. Remember? Remember? Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to see the Joker, the new Joker. I'm going to grab you by the phone and I just, you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> I remember. <laughs> yeah, he goes through a training montage. He goes to the police station to get their headshots. There's good uh, conveniences for why there's very little talking. And I liked that aspect of it. Hmm. When it gets down to the nitty gritty of things, you feel like you're watching Max Payne again. Hmm. I like that movie though. Really? The Mark Wahlberg? Hmm. <laughs> a lot of people think he's not a great choice for Max Payne. I'm, I'm one of them. I guess I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and of course it just happens to be Christmas Eve when all the, Killing. So you think there would be more Christmas music to to do that subtle? Were they trying to? Who did this? Were they trying to copy like the Crow vibe? Were they trying to copy something? I was gonna say the Crow. Um, John Woo, who who's known for Face Off. Do you know? You like Face yeah, Off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Hostage. No, that's oh, a show. Uh, Mission Impossible Two, which is one of the worst Mission Impossibles. I see you, Lonnie. But, you know, as a concept of what I described, it's like an action movie with very little talking and a Christmas setting. And it's like blood and guts and car crashes and explosions and all that to Christmas music with very little talking. Thanks, Lonnie. That will pique your interest. And you went and you saw it, and you, what did you give it for a score? I'm going to do my full review. on Okay. Saturday. Um, so I got to wait for this full review. Thank you, Lonnie. Thanks. Right now, it's in the 3.30 range. Ooh, that's rough. So this is not something you're going to want to watch again. Never again. It was a one and done situation. I, I, there was so me much. and one other guy in this theater, and I talked to him after, and he, he, he kind of bad bad mouthed it too and i was like okay what would you give it for a score yeah and he's like 70 i was like what? Bad it. did it let him it let him down not that much i guess if he's gonna give it a 70 <laughs> he mentioned the same thing i did about that that whole hour where not a lot is happening 
Hmm. It's it, similar to what I talked we talked about with the Melancholia movie. That whole first hour didn't even make sense to the movie, in my opinion. You can reframe it, right? As like, oh, it's building, right? It's you're anticipating when the the thrills and the violence is going to go down. There's yeah. Yeah, I want to see the new, I really want to see the new, what's it called, that I've said already. <laughs> um, Joker, I Joker. I mentioned Batman or or the Krell because he's vigilante in essence, right? Yeah. And he's badass because he does a bunch of pull-ups and watches training videos of how to stab people. Yeah. But it's like... Can that can that just be established, and can we actually get to the? Uh, I guess I guess I'm, am I sick, Kaya? <laughs> no, I I think I like that you have to. It's important for we us all to have our own opinion, right? And I hope you're still there. You just did. Are you just very very still? Okay, good. <laughs> I wanted I wanted the violence already. That's what <laughs> I went to the movie for. The okay. violence. And I have like three things I want to talk about based off of what you've been talking about. So let's hit it. Do you remember a movie a couple of years ago, some w Willie's Wonderland or something with Nicolas Cage? He didn't talk in that movie either. I think maybe he said one word in the entire movie. But I liked this movie. I didn't think I was going to like this movie and I liked it. Yeah, I, I've been meaning to see it. Willie's really Wonderland. I feel sick for liking it, <laughs> but I do like it. But along the same concept, yeah, yeah. Like he didn't speak. There was action. It was somewhat slow, and the ending was fucking great. <laughs> I liked the ending. It might. It might have been a Netflix film because it says. It may. Have, yeah, it might have been actually. It says TV MA. Okay. Okay, I did what, watch it, I think, on Netflix recently. I think. What's the second thing you wanted to talk about? Oh, the other thing is, do you, re you talked about a long time ago, I think uh, you watched Sleeping with the Enemy, Julia Roberts, right? Yeah. There's a lot of parallels with that in the movie J-Lo did called Enough. But she fought back and took her power. I kind of like it. I don't really think no. it's, like, excellent. I, I haven't watched it yet. Oh, Okay. I don't know. I was just comparing parallels because with the Silent Night, I feel like they were probably trying to do a little John Wick mixed with like the Crow mixed with whatever. Like, there's what was the Violent Night? Everyone talks about the Violent Night. It's another Christmas looking movie with. I don't think this guy's your favorite, <laughs> the main actor guy. I don't think he's your favorite. Oh, David Harbor. Yep, he's not your favorite, is he? That was last year. And I was, I saw the trailer and I was like, eh, I'm not in the mood, really. I get the. There's a lot of people that seem to like it. I was in a movie group for a while. Somehow I got kicked out of it. I don't really know what I did wrong, but I got kicked out of a movie group. And um, I know, right? Can you believe it? I'm a good girl, but I got kicked out. I think I posted too much or too often. I think that's. Just... That these Hollywood writers just like repeat shoveling the same stuff. Down our but also, they were on strike for a long time, so they were probably just putting out stuff they had, like, on the shelf. Man, I'm not being paid enough for this. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> they were on strike for so long, and there was stuff that they probably had shelved, and they just probably pulled a bunch of stuff out. I don't know how it works. I don't know. I but they're it. back to work now. It's a legit concern. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't being paid enough. I'd, I'd shovel the same shit. <laughs> well, and also, do you remember the this is another one armageddon and what was the ending of the movie there what was the other one like that like a end of the world sort of thing yeah it it was 1996 or 98 the same year they did it the same year two movies basically the same in the same uh, year could be the the core not the core but it was like that okay. i always forget the name of this one but because i like armageddon so much other people were advocating for this other one and i'm like so eh. many disaster movies deep impact. but it was the same year huh deep impact that one that one it's the same year yeah they and how did they both come out in the same year the same basically storyline yeah we've the talked same. about that before how coincidentally like yeah. Movies with the same topic keep coming yeah. out about the same time. Yeah, isn't that intriguing? I do find that suspicious. What's happening? What's going on? <laughs> I'll see you. <laughs>
Well, I want to see it because I kind of just want to. I haven't seen Violent Night either, and I want to. It's at Redbox. I could get it at Redbox, or I could buy it for like $5 on Redbox. You want to see this? I do want to see it. I need to be able to... Because sometimes... Sometimes I like movies you don't like, or... I might hate it, too. We have to find that out. We have to find that out. <laughs> so... I, was, I told the guy I, I I can't go above a 40 for what I just watched. Like It's not, even with the violence, it's not good? Correct. Do you so, think for an assignment you can watch the Willy's Wonderland and tell me what you think? I'd love to. Okay, I cool. Will take that assignment. Cool. You okay. basically accepted my uh, other assignment recently. Yeah, what was, you told me to watch something and I think I watched it that same day. Yeah. I think. I don't remember what it was though. This one. Oh yeah, I totally watched that. Was that the one you told me in the in the comments to watch? Because I feel like you gave me a different assignment in my comments once to watch. I don't. Know. I, I was. How courageous Kaya is, that she, she. I told her it's super sad in the fields, and she's like, no. I am hypersensitive woman. I cannot take it. It shall not be. I'm going to do it anyways, she said. <laughs> yes, I did. And I, you know what? I enjoyed it. I liked the artisticness. I liked the story. She was really brave. Like there was a bully that was like two feet taller than her. And she handled her business. Like I, she seems really young, but she was really brave and intelligent. And she implied implemented like things that she, her mother had taught her when she was little and then made it her story as like a protective tool you know how we learn survival techniques like we when we go to therapy we find out oh we don't need that anymore we can let go of that so i think at the very end she was saying goodbye to that giant he checked on her at the very very end and she said basically said goodbye because he had helped her through that and her mother passed away and all the things he helped her through i, I don't know her bravery it was good i liked it a lot yeah, I liked it. I just liked the imagination, the creativity, the fantasy of it all. It's good. Uh, there's some stuff that needed work, like the music was good too. Like the giants themselves needed more. I don't know depth. He had like the voice of um, the Transformer guy, though. That was a little that threw me a little. It was like, is that Idris Elba or? <laughs> I was like, what's this Transformer voice? Yeah, I'm so confused. Get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. In the movie group, by the way, P.S., I talked about this. I said, what does everyone think of this movie, right? I go, my friend doesn't like it. And they're like, get new friends, get new friends. Does <laughs> she like that? Isn't Grand that Torino? super funny? It's not funny, but I did get kicked out of this movie group that I was Is in. Is that so. why? <laughs> no, that wasn't why. It's because I posted too much. And there was a rule against posting too much. Oh, that would be rich. I know. Well, there was like one or two people who was like, well, probably because of the get off my lawn thing. And they did say that. So there was a couple people like that would have been on your side. Right. And then there was people on my side, get new friends. And that was oh, funny. As shit that too. makes me happy. They they make my point for yes. me. Yes. Yes. There was a couple people literally doing it. They're like, oh, he just doesn't like it because it's yeah. like, get off my lawn. Old mm -hmm. man. The and grumpy so old man stuff. Yep. That's they totally did. They totally read you without even reading you. You know what I mean? <laughs> they were on your side. I like the idea of you getting kicked out of the group <laughs> because you like I have a friend who really hates this movie and they're like, get that chick out of here. <laughs> we don't like her friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have screen captures of it. I will show you it later. I'm sure I can I can show you the pictures of the videos because I'm like circle it and like, oh look what they said, circle, circle. <laughs> it's super funny. Ah, <laughs> circle my life. So they haven't called you yet. You're going to get your call soon, probably. Yeah? yeah. So I'm glad you saw it. You didn't like it. I still kind of want to see it now. Just I have to wait till it comes out because somehow I can't figure out how to like free up room on my computer. My computer won't download anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not. A computer literate person you literally had to baby step my ass through that to even do what i did in the first place remember how you had to talk me through that shit mm. and now i don't know how to free up room and i thought that i deleted them but there is still no room to you put anything else on r kind of yeah thing? correct yeah correct <laughs> oh did you ever your opinion still the same on uh, a man called otto 
that was me filming and taking a picture of the theater. Oh, that's cool. They what? ripped out our theater and put in a freaking like gym. I'm kind of looking forward to that one. It's called Migration. Ooh. It's going to be about a duck movie. Oh. I think it's going to be Illumination. The same people that do the the mini me, not the mini, the minions type of movies. That's weird. What is that picture of? I don't know. Oh, it's, it's this one. Was his legs crossed and uncrossing? Yeah. No, 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 no. You're going to get us in trouble. What are you doing? I'm playing with the thingies. Great. While you're doing, while you're super distracted, I'll just handle the rest of the podcast myself. Yeah, this was, this was fantastic. The F of the century, the film of the century. Uh, Bart, we're talking about a 1992 movie over here right now for anyone joining. (laughs) You see what I did there? Um, Yes, I saw you. I saw you. The music was great. And I talked about the, the shadows the light coming in through the curtains at certain points was like film noir. I like that you said that. And that's why I liked your review. It was so cool how you covered those things. I loved it. Yeah. Subtleties. You There's a little, like when they're in the apartment and you can see out the window, like you there can tell the background is is fake. Like the oh. fake city buildings that are behind them on the skyline. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like movies or anything. I don't ever watch them or anything, Bart. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Not 13 times a week. No, no, that's not me. <laughs> Garrett, hey, how's it going? Yeah. For the for the games that we play, to be honest. That's it. Garrett, how old are you now, my son? <laughs> 1992 movies. A whole generation of kids have not seen this film. They don't know anything about it. It's nuts. Nuts, nuts. No, well, nutty. If we want them to stay kids, maybe they shouldn't see. It. Are you really only almost sixteen? Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny stuff. Uh, so I also found this is the correct movie poster, but on Sorry IMDb, for- on IMDb it's that one. Thank you for bringing up the correct one. They have been doing this lately, and it annoys me because. I don't think I'm autistic, but maybe I am because I know what it used to be. And when they put up something else, it bugs me. We we know you are. It's okay. You don't have- I pay attention to movie boxes and things. I used to go to the Blockbuster and get the VHSs, people. So I know what it looked like. And that one, what isn't it? That's not it. They're, I don't know why they do that. And they um, could have picked a way better picture. Sean, so they could have put a picture of the silk hand tied up. Yeah, if you look closely, you can tell this is like AI art. Right? Yeah, that's what they're doing more and more. I think you're right. They're just, it's he, so annoying. Why does his face look like that? It looks bad. And they're like, Garrett, really? I hope you're doing well. You want to go with that one when, when this one exists? That's way hotter looking and way more seductive. And it gives like a, an entry. What does it say right there? Yeah. It, when I was in college and I did a, I did a class... A movie film class and I watched, you know, clock, I watched Clockwork Orange, Rosebud. I mean, sorry, was Rosebud the actual movie? I can't remember. (laughs) Anyway, anyway, I watched, I think I just gave it away, but whatever. I watched movies, including this one I did a report on based on the psychological, you know, blah, blah, blah. Because, and that's a long time ago. I was in college a long time ago. Everybody, I know. It was a long time ago (laughs) because I wrote a report on that film. (laughs) Yeah. But yeah, when I'm watching TV shows or whatever, Sean, I think about how, one, if you could be playing that role, like this kid, this kid Roman, he's not really a kid, but I say that because he's younger in the, in the group of the family and he's a little bit kind of like off the wall and he just says crazy off the wall stuff. And I, and he just does it for shock value and I love it. And I'm like, would Sean have done that? Would Sean have been willing to do that? I want to know if Sean be getting that role. And I think of that sometimes because I feel like you could have totally done that role. Maybe. Well, yeah. Thank you, thank you for thinking of me. No, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, so it says here, I know it's super small. It says a brutal murder, a brilliant killer, a cop who can't resist the danger. Yeah. 
Because he's addicted to things, and that would be a good addiction to have, I suppose. Well, we're, just, we're just discussing the difference between the movie posters. Right? Oh, I know, but still. And this doesn't say any of that. I don't like it. Why Did they would... update it because of the of the fact that it is an old movie? Is that why we're doing this? I mean, why are we doing this, people? I, I need information. I don't know, and I don't care, but that looks, that looks ugly in, in comparison to that. I know, that's so hot. <laughs> so hot this has a lot more interesting appeal to it than sorry i just i don't know what's going on but my stuff's bothering me my background's not cooperating look at that stupidness i haven't seen that but i put it on my list to watch mm -hmm. it's a courtroom thing or it's legal stuff with cornfields and something like that or whatever seeds oh seeds oh gmo shit oh it's gonna piss me off isn't it it's just gonna piss me off exactly gmo stuff and it's going to piss me off because it's bullshit. All that stuff's bullshit and it'll just piss me off. They genetically modified the seed to be resistant to this particular pest. Mm -hmm. And if you spray your fields with it, your, your stuff will be fine. And if you don't spray your stuff with it, your crops will die. Hmm. Hmm. And there's something else to that, too. I just think it's like, I don't, it does make me mad. That gets me down a whole path. It gets me down a whole path. I mean, it's for the good of, mm -hmm. of the crops. Well, that's what there's a lot of things are told that like TikTok is bad. We're going to ban it because it's not good for you and your kids. Like there's, you know what I mean? The government says things are bad and tells you, but then you've got Bill Gates buying up all the potato fields and like, Hmm, interesting how they do that. But anyway, you don't want to get me on this topic because it'll piss me off. Piss me off. Just saying. Anyways. <laughs> I'm just oh. saying. Yeah, you're like, I'm going to upload this later and she's going to be embarrassed that she said all that and people can hear it. <laughs> Have I not done enough embarrassing things on the show? Didn't I talk out of my butt once? <laughs> Yeah, but Jim Carrey pulled that off. No big deal, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, yeah. Super good of a movie. Now, I haven't seen this, and I don't think I watched your review yet. Did I? I don't know. Okay, so I have to watch the review, and then I'll maybe we'll watch it. Hey, how's it going? Frazier. James McAvoy. Oh, well, I like him. Rosalie McAvoy Dawson. I've been I watching see. a lot of uh, adults naked scenes recently well hello i'm listening tell me more please <laughs> and uh rosario dawson in this oh Ooh. okay top to bottom oh well now i'm listening even more yeah. <laughs> you know those cats you know those cats with without fur on them <laughs> rachel on friends had it once okay where are we going oh. with this she had a hairless cat. Oh. <laughs> I was like slow on that one. Anyways, nothing, nothing adult going on here at all. And this one really disappointed me overall. <sighs> watch it. I'm gonna have to watch it so that I know what you're talking about. In my review, I talked about the coincidence that Christian Bale played two characters with a fake eye. Yeah. yeah. And that's like, there's something coincidental about that. And I, there's no such thing as coincidences, right? Maybe it was fun challenge again. Who knows? Or maybe, he, I don't know. It's um, hard to know. I'd like to interview them and find out some of their reasons and motives sometimes. If they I'll would just honestly tell us, I don't know. I'll maybe talk about what I liked. About okay, good. Him and, and her had a good romance. You know, a black guy and, and a white lady. And it's like 1940, right after World oh. War II. Okay, okay. That's un unacceptable in America, but perfectly fine in, in Europe. Because people are so physically, yeah. yeah, I don't like it. But Touched on. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Taylor Swift is in this movie. I, heard, I mean, I listened to the review. He said she like busted under a bus or something in the beginning. That's funny. What did I watch yesterday that was interesting? They're, they're like, get this girl out of this film immediately. <laughs> <sighs> I 
I watched something yesterday. What was it? Oh my lord. Um, hmm. I was looking for creativity or or a plot that was interesting. There's some cover up stuff, secrecy stuff. Mm -hmm. You kind of forget about it after watching it, to be honest. Um, because it's conspiracy stuff. It's about what are they what are they hiding in in our government in our. I probably will lose my interest. It won't probably. I'll check it out, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be like terribly interested. We'll have to see. Well, what was being talked about is plausible, and I think that you know it's one of those movies where the the truth is hidden in plain sight, kind of when they're talking about it. That's yeah. Okay. Help me. Dakota Fanning or one of them was in a movie where she played an autistic girl. Did you see this movie or, and she was in this and she wrote a whole script. It was like 300 or 600 pages for Star Trek. And she had to get it to Paramount Pictures studio by a certain time. She was going to mail it, but the time didn't work out. So then she got, tries to like get on a bus and go there. And there's like a whole like events and things. She has a little dog and it's, it's kind of a cute movie. I kind of liked it. And it was kind of cute and sweet. A little sappy, but. I'm going to go find it. Yeah, because my brain doesn't. There was a saying or a phrase. And I can't think of what it was. And that's the name of the movie. Oh, <laughs> yeah, one of those. So one it's bothering me. You I can't remember, remember the plot, but the movie title is like, oh, wait, what was it again? <laughs> I don't remember. It's a weird title. I like when they're easy titles for me to remember, but. I am oh, getting older, so I forget I stuff. People. Uh, Christian Bale and Margot Robbie were in this same movie um, about Wall Street, uh, the big money, the big heist, okay. the, big, the big short. That's what. Oh it was. yeah, yeah. Okay. Short. And uh, they didn't really interact with each other, but they were in the same movie. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Her being in a bathtub. And explaining economics to people. <laughs> uh, oh, now you're paying attention, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> interesting, interesting. Uh, what year do you think that Dakota Fanning film? 2017, probably ish. Okay. Maybe. It. F. E. Gray. Does that sound familiar? No. Oh, Brimstone, that was uh, a scary stalker movie. Really? In like the wild, wild west and super creepy. Brimstone. And want to get the girl and I was like, you know. Okay, well, have, it's another one for me to check out. I wish I could remember it. I'd have to leave here to find out what it is I, I was talking about. You're not allowed to watch Brimstone. It's, it's that bad, huh? I have to go soon-ish. It's good. It was, I gave it an eight. Of like compelling stuff, but you you shouldn't watch it because it's like hardcore, scary stuff. This girl had to go through from from stalker preacher man. Um, I mean, you know, now don't tell me not to watch it. I probably will want to watch it. That's how that works. Uh, the escape? No, I don't think so. Please. Something steady. Please. Something steady. Please stand by. That one, that you got it. Something steady. See how bad I am. This is why you are over on that. You, Something shut steady. up, you. <laughs> <laughs> Please stand by. Is not similar to what I said, but anyway, that's the movie. I I thought it was interesting. The whole like script she wrote, and then she made friends along the way. It was kind of good acting. It was a you know she encountered people along the way. I I, I thought it was pretty good. You know, because she kind of had to portray being like autistic adult, like a 21 year old ad autistic adult and the way she interacted with people. And, and there's a, but there's a bus ticket situation where it's $22 for this ticket. And she only had $7 and some change. And she's like, can this be enough today? Can this be enough? <laughs> He's like, no, that's not enough. <laughs> he wouldn't accept it. So she hides inside of the bus, uh, um, luggage area, which is kind of funny. Is it a, a road trip movie? Yes, kind of. Yes, yes. Me and my mom yeah. talk about that every once in a while. Where we go, like there are certain categories of movies. I like that. Road trip movies, 
the hero's journey. It's like I like that Potter you thing. were saying the IMDb updated some of their genres and stuff. And I do, I like that. I noticed that with a couple movies I watched recently where they included, you know, fantasy and thriller and psycho, you know, all those things. And I was like, that makes it more interesting and more compelling at that point really, when it's not just one or two. You really upped the, the genre categories. I'm probably going to run, but um, we can do this again later at some point. I'll make sure, hey, Bryce, make sure you try to uh, check out that movie that we talked about earlier. Willie's Wonderland. The Willie's, Willie's Wonderland. <laughs> and, and very good recommendation. To, I gave it a 10. I gave it like a 96 out of 100 or 90, whatever. Wow. You can, and you can watch it again, like Sixth Sense. Sixth Sense is an excellent movie. You can totally watch again. I mean, you do know the ending, but it's fun to watch it again. And this movie is worth a watch. You know, I've watched it a few times over the years, so. The end, you know, I assume I could spoil it for people. Maybe. There's over, a whole generation of people that haven't seen it, I'm sure. <laughs> it's over 20 years. I know, but people are being like, born that are watching, haven't watched it, and they might want to, who knows. You spoiled, what was that, Rosebud? <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh. Oh no, anything but the sled was named Rosebud. <laughs> How could you, Kaya? No. no. Um, the end where like the ice pick was under the bed and revealed that she was the killer the whole time. That's fantastic. She, but she pinned it on the other girl that and it was believable. It because she copied her and she did oh, all those things. He shot her. That was like so crazy when he shot that chick i was like what are you doing man because the other girl was crazy like that was his girlfriend for a while the way he came in and gave it to her over the end of the couch oh my oh my <laughs> i loved that scene to be honest i know it's such a good bro take that he take really that. just gave it bam she's like, she's like never took it like that before <laughs> Well, this time. On I'm that good. note, on that note, I'm leaving. <laughs> Adios. What do you do at the end? Awesome <laughs> power. Every hour. <laughs> Bye. Bye.